This is the storm window in my kitchen window. Somebody years ago had cut out down here the wooden part of the storm window and they had an air conditioner in here. And when I moved in, this was actually missing. Air conditioner was gone. So I cut out a piece of wood to fill this in. And on the other storm windows in the house, there's actually a piece of aluminum that goes right along here to form a, a seal where the glass part and aluminum part of the window comes down and then it rests in there. That's lock that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of aluminum that's painted white on one side, try and cut a piece that'll come up about a quarter inch on this side, go across here, down this 45, and then down on the outside just to protect this because there's a seam here when I put that piece of wood in there that moisture can get down into and that could rot out if the paint um, peels off. So I'm going to run it jig jog it in here and it's going to be tricky to cut and it's going to be tricky to bend this but i think i can do it so let's get started i've got all my measurements on this piece of uh, aluminum trim and i'm gonna cut these all out And I've marked all the where it needs to be folded on both ends of this. And then I need to measure, I've measured how wide the window opening is. There's actually three different lengths. So I need to cut those out next. I had made a mistake on no, oh, this is really getting complicated. It <laughs> shouldn't be. This is actually the outside of the window. When I cut this, I made a cut from this edge up to that mark. Then cut here. Then I there was metal like this. So then I cut like that and cut like that. So it now fits. There's one little mistake on... This side I mismeasured one, but it's what it is. It's, it's very, very close. But this bending gets really complicated because here's where the storm window comes down right here. And then I want to have a quarter inch sticking up here. This is seven eighths. This is half inch. And then this is whatever, whatever's width. And I'm going to use a workmate to bend this, but I'm going to have to start bending i think on this one right there because if i bend this first it goofs up these other bends so i'm gonna have to work from the inside probably do this one first then this one and this bend last let's see how it goes well, no it's uh just bent this is a uh Workmate, mate, workmate. Um, they are really handy tools, and it's kind of like a big vise. And this top is 29 inches long, which is just about perfect for this piece. So I'm gonna put that in, tighten those up. And this is aluminum, so it's fairly easy to bend. I want to bend it about a 45 degree angle. Go with that. I'm starting on one of the inside bends. Now I'm going to bend the 
other inside bend about a 45 degree angle. I've got marks on the metal that I'm, I'm lining up. I actually want to over bend it a little bit so that I can easily bend it back fit the window. Actually, I want to have this plane parallel to the top of the workmate because that will replicate what the window is. looks that fits now then up this inside the bend is the opposite way and this will um, basically create a dam so that water can't run into the space between the inside window and the storm window. And this one I want to bend at a 90 degree. I'm going to get a 2x4 and a hammer to bend that over. I'm going to try just the 2x4 first. Let's get some leverage on that. Yeah, it's just such a small piece there. 
Oh. Yeah, this is um oh, this is perfectly parallel either. It looks like they might be bowed out a little bit in the middle. Uh, let's see, that's gonna go like that. Yeah, we'll bend that a little bit more. I'm gonna bend this and um go up and try it the window. I need to uh, bend this 90 a little bit more so. Try a different way of bending it. There we go. Awesome. Be sure and check out my other videos. Please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment below. Have a great day.